Hey there, I'm Ada. If you clicked on this video, it probably means you're ready to start building with Adaptive. It might seem a bit overwhelming if you're new, but don't worry, I'll guide you through, step by step. All right, let's begin. First, open your browser and go to adaptive.ai. This is the main Adaptive homepage, and it's your starting point. From here, you can explore everything Adaptive has to offer. But before we dive in, the first thing you need to do is sign up with your email. That gives you access to the free plan so you can start building right away. In the top right corner, you'll see the sign in button. Click on it and a window will pop up where you'll enter your email address. Once you enter your email, you will be asked to enter a six digit code. That code will be instantly sent to the email you just entered. So open your inbox, look for an email from Adaptive, copy the code and paste it back into the login window. Once you enter your code, you're in. You'll see the chat box right away, and you can start with your first prompt immediately. Now, when you give Adaptive a task, like building an app, it's best to focus on the end goal. In other words, tell it what you want the app to do, not how to build it. So let's build something practical, something most of us could actually use. I will give Adaptive a really simple prompt, something like, I want an app where I upload a photo, it reads the text from it and shows me the text so I can copy it. Then I press enter, and that's it. Adaptive will start building my app right away. You'll be able to see the progress while it's building, but I'll speed this part up a bit so we don't just sit here watching the screen. Feels a bit like magic, but really, it's just smart tech doing exactly what you asked. No questions, no confusion, this is all Adaptive doing its thing based on that one prompt. Okay, about three minutes in, and Adaptive has already built the front end. It's now working on the back end. That's the part of the app that actually makes things work behind the scenes. And here's what the front end looks like. This is the part of the app that we as users will actually interact with. As you can see, Adaptive named the app Snap2Text, and it automatically added the image upload feature just like we asked. Adaptive is still working in the background, wiring up the functionality and making sure everything runs smoothly. That includes setting up the logic for uploading, reading the image, extracting the text, and making the copy of button actually work. This part takes a bit more time, so I'm gonna speed things up again while it finishes the back end. Now, six minutes in, and Adaptive is done. The app is ready, and all that's left now is to hit publish and try it out. So here we are, this is our finished app. And honestly, Adaptive didn't just do what we asked, it went a step further. We asked for an app that can read text from an uploaded image, but Adaptive also added a camera function, so we can take a live photo and extract the text instantly. And now the moment of truth. Let's see how it actually extracts the text from our image. Right now, Adaptive is analyzing the image using advanced AI powered by GPT-5, the latest model from OpenAI. This gives it one of the most accurate and fast image recognition capabilities available today. So even complex screenshots like this with multiple layers of text and different font sizes can be processed cleanly and reliably. As you can see, our app is working perfectly from one simple prompt to a fully functional tool in six minutes. If you found this helpful, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.